And for the past 30 years, every decade when they do redistricting, uh, either the federal courts or the administrative courts uh, find that the state of Texas violates the rights of minorities by either reducing the number of districts they can have or gerrymandering against them, uh, packing them or cracking them. We have never been treated fairly by the state of Texas. And most recently was uh, eight years ago when Tom DeLay drew the congressional districts and uh, uh, reduced the number of Hispanic congressional districts in South Texas. We took it all the way to the Supreme Court. I was representing LULAC. I was the lead attorney for LULAC. And the Supreme Court said, Texas, you can't do that. That was the latest uh, time that um, Texas was found to violate the rights of Hispanics. And that was in 2005. Before that, they had found them they violated in 2000, in 1990, 1980, and 1970. So well, there's a long record of, of uh, violation of the rights of minorities. This decade, which is really significant because Texas grew by four million people. We pick up four new congressional districts. Texas gained the, the most because they gained four million people. Well, Latinos were responsible for almost 70% of the growth. Uh, combined minorities, probably about 80%. So one would think that if we're going to get four new congressional districts, Hispanics should get three out of the four new. Well, uh, so far, what we've seen from the state, in so far as the House Legislative Districts, they they've, uh, haven't given us our fair share. And in fact, they pitted two minorities in the valley, uh, and they, um, uh, we could have picked up four, five, six, seven more state house seats. We didn't, okay? It's a horrible plan, and really gerrymanders against Latinos. Uh, and the Senate, uh, Again, we didn't get an, we could get a, a Latino sen senatorial district in, in Houston, I mean in uh, Dallas, we didn't get one. Potentially one in Houston, we didn't get one. And then uh, the, the gerrymandering that occurred with, for example, like Senator Zafarini's district goes all the way from down in the valley to Laredo and up to uh, Austin, mm -hmm. Travis County. So uh, that plan is also uh, a disaster as far as Latinos are concerned. We do not have a plan yet. Uh, I haven't submitted one for congressional, but okay. we don't expect much better. So we sure we're entitled to considerably more representation than we have been uh, given so far. Well, like I said, the four new congressionals. One of the plans that the Republicans are putting in gives us one, whereas we should get three, and probably because of past negligence, get four. There is no plan yet for the congressionals, and there's a law. There's three lawsuits already been filed. One in, in Hidalgo County, uh, one in um, uh, up in North Texas, uh, and one here in San Antonio. And those are all challenging the congressional redistricting, the House legislative redistricting, and the Senate redistricting on several grounds. One is the undercount, one is uh, the rules that are being used to draw the districts, and then they're being sued for violation of Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act. So, that is ultimately, like I said, 70, 80, 90, 2000, it's going to happen this year too. The federal courts are the, the ones that ultimately make adjustments and give us, get us a little bit closer to what we're entitled to. We don't always get everything we want, but get us a little bit closer.